Astronomers are constantly trying to find that ideal planet which would resemble ours. However, most stellar systems differ from our solar system. Learning about exoplanets is helpful, not only for the sake of space exploration, but also for understanding our own place in the universe. In their search for an Earth-like planet, scientists have found thousands of other unusual worlds. Some of them are short of our expectations, but quite a few of them are truly incredible. Our universe has a great imagination. The darkest planet ever discovered, which is blacker than soot or coal. A planet made of diamond. A planet where it rains stones instead of water. And what about circumbinary planets, which can orbit two stars? The list goes on and on. Is our Earth truly unique? Are there similar worlds out there? Perhaps an intelligent life form similar to ours? Let's try and find out together. The Weirdest Planets in the Universe, Part 3. Please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. A planet by the name of Gliese 581c. One of its sides is turned to the star which makes it hot the other side being dark and frozen. This is typical of most planets that are close to their stars. For example, the moon circles the Earth and always shows just one side. So we couldn't see the other side of the moon until the first outer space equipment was launched in 1959. There are gravitational forces at work. Our Earth has stopped the moon from spinning and made it move synchronously one circle around itself, and one circle around the Earth, which makes only one side visible. This is called tidal locking. The Earth has hitchhiked the Moon. Any star hitchhikes its planet by gravitational forces in the same way. The closest planets orbit with one hemisphere facing the star, and the other always staying in the dark. This is not unique to the planet we will be talking about. Gliese 581 is a very interesting exoplanet system. First of all, it borrows its name from a famous astronomer who has compiled a catalog of the closest stars in the 1950s. For the most part, we discover exoplanets of close stars because they are easier to discover. The star itself is a small red dwarf, which is much smaller than our sun and doesn't give as much heat. But this star has a large planet system at first, the scientists thought that it had six planets, but accurate observations show there are five. One of these planets, Gliese 581c, has turned out to be in the so-called potentially livable area. Just to remind you, a potentially livable area is a narrow range of distance from the star where the temperature on the planet surface is suitable for life. A sweet spot with conditions conducive to the emergence of life, if you will. But what do suitable or conducive mean anyway? A planet needs to have liquid water in order to be inhabitable. Therefore, a temperature should range between zero and 100 degrees Celsius. Going beyond these limits means water either turning to gas over 100 degrees Celsius or ice below zero degrees Celsius. This kind of climate makes a planet unlivable. So only the Earth is within the range of potential livability in our solar system. Venus is too hot. Mars is too cold, although it is at the edge of the area suitable for life. And in the system of Gliese 581, it was the planet C that has almost turned out to be a potentially livable area. It resembles the Earth very closely with very few different characteristics. The fact that it is five times larger is not so critical. According to our estimations, the temperature on this planet ranges from 10 to 80 degrees Celsius. But why can't we give the precise temperature? We don't know the gas composition of its atmosphere. If it has a lot of carbon dioxide, it means the greenhouse effect would take place. Do you remember how the greenhouse effect works? The greenhouse is covered with transparent glass. It's warm inside and cold on the outside. Why is it warm inside? The sunlight goes through the greenhouse glass, warms up the surface of the soil in the greenhouse, 
but it can't get cold because of the heat being trapped inside. So, an atmosphere from the carbon dioxide would trap the star heat around the surface of the planet, which is why we have this wide temperature range. It's worth mentioning that 80 degrees Celsius is a very comfortable temperature for many organisms on the Earth, even though it's not for humans. Scientists believe that this planet is fully suitable for life, and it is one of the closest to us. It takes only 20 light years to get to. This might seem long to us, but it is really one of the closest stars. The closest star, Alpha Centauri C, is located within 4.2 light years, but this one is 20 light years away. If and when we learn to fly to the stars, we will visit planets like Gliese 581 first because they catch our interest. The climate of such planets has to closely resemble that of the Earth. But you can always find a warm place on a tidally locked planet, a place which is neither too cold nor too hot. Needless to say, although the prospect of flying that far is not in the nearest future, interstellar travel can be a reality one day. Are you afraid of the dark? Welcome to Tress 2b, the planet of eternal night. Its mass is 1.49 Jupiters. It takes 2.5 days to complete one orbit of its star and is 0 0.03563 AU from its star. Its discovery was announced in 2006. First of all, what is Tress 2b? As we already know, b means that it's the first planet discovered near a star. And what is Tress? Tress stands for Transatlantic Exoplanet Survey. Tress is about looking for planets through several telescopes operating from several Atlantic coasts in the United States and Europe. This is an amazingly interesting project. Do you know what kind of telescopes they are? People usually say astronomers have giant telescopes, but these are just extremely small. Their lens's diameter is 10 centimeters. And it turned out that by combining several telescopes like this into a network, they can observe the same star simultaneously. If one telescope is faulty, others will show the right image in such a way one can make an important discovery. So what did scientists discover? They found a transiting planet, a planet passing in front of its star. But after the transit, no data has been registered on this planet. Tress 2b is located 750 light years away from the solar system. When it was passing by the star, it dimmed its light just a bit and then went off the radar. But it shouldn't have. Starlight should have reflected from its surface and somehow show us the lit side of this planet. Instead, there is nothing. This planet has turned out to be the darkest thing there is. It reflects only 1% of the starlight reaching its surface. Look around and notice some black objects. For example, a computer case, a surface of an LCD computer display. Mind you, they reflect 5, 8, 12% of light. If you remember what soot is, the blackest soot there is reflects about 3% of the light. And this planet is at 1%. Its soil composition is not clear. The giant is absolutely black. This is truly puzzling. One reason could be an absence of reflective clouds, such as those which make Jupiter so bright, due to Tress 2b's proximity to its parent star and the consequent high temperature. Another reason could be the presence in the atmosphere of light-absorbing chemicals, such as vaporized sodium, potassium, or gaseous titanium oxide. However, astronomers David Kipping and David Spiegel excluded heavy oxides of titanium and vanadium from their models, as it seems unrealistic that condensed, heavy compounds be present in the upper atmosphere. The planet is likely to be tidally locked to the parent star. In 2015, the planetary nightside temperature was estimated to be equal to 1,885 Kelvin. Nowadays, astronomers find hundreds of new exoplanets every year. They are all unique and have some bizarre parameters, and we'll tell you about them.
subscribe to our channel, and like this video. Thanks for watching.